Okay, so in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to make a set of blinds that go across this uh, door here in the living room. So I'm going to come over here to where this op opening is and uh, just make a simple little box right here. Give it a little height. And then I'm going to come up here and put it into place. something like that. Alrighty. Z. And though this won't be a main focal point in the room, um, I'm going to uh, give it just a little detail. Not much. So let's give it a gray material first off. And we can go ahead and turn off the walls. And you can see that I'm building this on the default layer. Now we'll create a new layer. Just call it blinds. All right, that way we're on there. Okay, so we'll convert this to an editable poly. And I'm just going to take this and let's inset it some. All right, so we're going to inset this a little bit. Then I'm going to extrude it down. My neighbors are loud. I don't know if you can hear that, but I sure can. All right, so I'm going to uh, do that. And like I said, this won't be a main focus, um, but it doesn't hurt just to give it a little bit, just in case the camera does see it. Um, and if you want to, we can actually select every single one of these edges, and we can just do a chamfer on that. Just very, very minute just a little bit and it really doesn't matter about these four right in here because like I said this thing is going to be so small you don't even really see it up here okay and now inside it what I'm going to do is actually go to this view right here I'm going to make another little box that we put inside it that over here. Okay. And then I'm going to set its length. Set its length so that it goes all the way across here. Which is actually not yeah, which is the height here. So all right. And we'll just convert it to an editable poly and do it ourselves right here. Alright, have that in there. I'm gonna hit M and make it gray as well. Okay, and because that's gonna be in here, we don't really have to pay too much attention to it. I just wanted to add a little something in there. Um as far as it goes, the ends we can actually make another little box here something like that for something I said wouldn't have much detail I sure I'm trying to put stuff on it to make it look decent enough convert to editable poly and we're gonna bring that there Okay, I'm going to give this a gray material, F4, so I can see everything. I'm going to select every single one of these edges and just chamfer it a very little bit there. Alright, I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm just going to copy it over. Okay, try to equal the space there. That's that. Now there won't be any camera shots of it back here and you can put brackets in to hold against the wall but let's just add more polys than we need. It will never be seen. I'm going to um, unhide the walls just so I can see how tall these blinds are going to be. I'm going to create those with a simple plane. 
Okay. I'm going to set it just below it. And almost touching the floor, but not quite. About four inches in width. And I'm going to leave them with, let's say, um, three width segments. I'm going to center these in the middle here, just like so. I'm going to give it a black material, like that. And then I'm going to convert it to an editable poly. And I'm just going to curve it like that. And you know what? I'm actually, before I do that, I'm going to make it have four width segments and convert it to a poly. And then I'm going to rotate, or actually move these up like so, to give it an arc look right here. And if you want to, you can add a turbo smooth to that. But you'll notice that it's actually pretty smooth as it is. So just to add a turbo smooth would kind of like be overkill. So I'm going to move these over towards this area. Before I duplicate or do anything special to this, I'm just going to take a nice little box here and come up like so. Give it some height and bring it over here. Like that. I'm going to take both of these and put them here in the middle. I'm going to take this little box again. Actually, take the height down. I just want it to be really thin, like so. And uh, Z, zoom in on it. F3 so I can see what I'm doing here. I want it to be like that. Click that and I want it to be in the center here. Okay. Click that. A little bit of width, too much. Hit F3 so I can see what I'm doing. Give it a gray material. Give it a little more length. And put it back in here. Convert it to an editable poly and just select all of these edges hit F4, select all the edges and do a chamfer on that a very small amount click OK F4, it should look something like that and then what we're going to do is just link this to the to the blinds. So let's hide this wall really quick so we can speed up the workflow here a little bit. I'm going to take this, and before I do anything, I'm going to name it Blinds um, Holder 01. I'm going to name this Blind 01. I'm going to name this thing the Blinds Bar. This little thing that we put up inside there. Blinds inside and Blinds end 01 and blinds end 02, like that. Then I'm going to come in here, F4. I'm going to select this and I'm going to select my link button right here. Select and link. I'm going to select this and I'm going to drag it to the blind. And then we have that. Alright, so if I were to move the blind anywhere, that thing will go with it, as you see right there. Okay, so we have that. Zoom in on it and make sure that it is actually holding that into place. It's centered in there, it looks good. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to rotate it a little bit like this. I don't want it to be completely shut. And actually, yeah, just a little bit like that, about five degrees or something. So what I want to do is duplicate this over, something like that. Click OK. 
Let me just do an instance. Let's say 12 and see what that looks like. It doesn't quite make it to the end yet, so I'll just control Z. And I'll do it again. Click OK. Oops. Do it one more time. And this time I'm going to do 30 and click OK. And that should go all the way across. And what I'll do now is just delete the ones that I don't need. Delete those. And you see that it didn't do it the way I wanted it to, so let's go back here. Let me take this right here and group this. And we'll call it lines group. Okay. And now we'll do it again. 30. Click OK. And now we have all of those. We just delete the ones we don't really need, like this one too. Alright. If I were to select all of these, we can open them like so if we wanted to, because they will turn on their own pivots. And then what I want to do last is just create just a little cylinder, something right here that just hangs. Now we didn't wire these up to turn with this little guy right here, but if you want to know how to do that I can show you with one and then if you want to you can do it with the rest of them. I'm just gonna drag this down a little bit so we have like just a little little guy right here and put him into place say right here or something like that and have him up inside there. Okay F4 give him a gray material Okay. If you want to round off the bottom here, you can do that. Just select the polygons, alt select these, so you just have that. And you just do a bevel, simple enough, and just bevel it in like so. And uh, click, apply, click apply, if I can talk, and do that. And you can round it off like that, pretty simple enough. Let max save. Give that all the same. Um, give that all the same smoothing group, so it looks rounded right there. Call it blinds um, Turner thing. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. All right, so we have that, and the blinds are in place. Now, if you wanted to, what you could do, and this should work. If it doesn't, we won't worry about it. I'll show you towards the end if it doesn't work. But if we wanted to have this blind right here be controlled by this rod, what we can do is right click it and open up the group. Okay, what I want to do is select, I want to select and link that to this. Okay, I want to take this and we'll right click and go to wire parameters and go down here. Let's see if I can do it. Select this, go to wire parameters, it shows up down here go to rotation, Z rotation, and click this thing. So we go to transform rotation, Z rotation. And we got the blind turner thing and this blind 25. We're going to go that way with it. Click connect. And it should work. If it didn't work, then, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. But you can see it does work. It just turned itself around all the way. So now if you wanted to, you can control these blinds just with this one guy right here. Okay, so we have that. But I'm going to go back to where I didn't do that because I don't really care to have it controlled by that. If I want to open these things, I'll just go in and select them all and turn them around. So it's up to you however you want to do it. I'm going to control, I'm going to take the whole thing, take group, and call it blinds group. 
or blinds living room GRP and then there's that and then what I can do is unhide the walls and then they're in there like that F4 now we have the living room blinds in there and we can open those up when we go to render it all we can actually slide this over some if we want to something like that and we can open them up and let the uh, light come in when we get ready to render this thing in one of the last DVDs alright so I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, let's move on to something else